Hello Virgo and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so very much for joining me here today. It's the Empress and in today's video we are looking at what you can expect for Leo season. So we're looking at the energy and any predictions that may come forth for Leo season. Let's take a second here Virgo and talk a little bit about Leo season and the astrological kind of components that are going to be uh, present within this time. So Leo season is from July 22nd to August 22nd and on July 28th we have the new moon in Leo and on that same day we also have Jupiter stationing retrograde and it's going to remain retrograde until November 23rd with the new moon in Sagittarius and this seems like a very significant energy that is activating within this time. I will be doing a separate reading on just the Jupiter retrograde but um, that is activating within Leo season. We also have Lamas on August 1st, so we have some harvest energy, some completion energy, some celebration energy coming forth, I feel, through this time. Um, we have Mercury moving into your sign of Virgo, its home sign, one of its home signs, so um, that's probably going to be a very kind of easy transit for you guys, a very comfortable transit for you guys, and that is happening on August 4th. Um, and then we have on the 11th of August, the full moon in Aquarius, and we have Venus moving into the sign of Leo, which just really honestly feels like a very beautiful energy um, with Venus in Leo. Uh, and then we have Mars moving into Gemini, on August 20th. So those are a little bit of the energies that are going to be shifting and transiting throughout this season. Let's go ahead here and get into your reading Virgo and see what you can expect through this season. Um, okay, so starting out here we're going to get some overall energies with some oracle cards and then we'll get into your tarot. Um, and take a look at your spiritual, physical relationships and abundance um, for this season. So starting off here, we have You Can Choose Love. So Virgo, I feel like Leo season is going to be very much so, for, for some of you guys, it's going to be about choosing between your heart and your head or like choosing what your heart truly wants instead of what logic may tell you, which can be a very difficult kind of energy for Virgo, um, but we have you can choose love. So I feel like Leo season is going to be very much so for you guys about learning how to, it could be forgiveness, it could be compassion, um, and learning how to choose love over judgment or over logic or over maybe what other people expect from you, Virgo. Um, Choosing love instead of anger or sadness. Um, there's this essence of like kindness coming in here through Leo season for you guys. There's also a message coming in here where like um, it's safe to love Virgo. And you know, and that's going to mean different things for different people, but it is safe to love. Let's get some more cards here for Virgo. We have Neptune coming out with uh, Dreams and Transcend. And House 6 coming out here, which is Virgo Energy. We have establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. Um, so for a lot of my Virgos here, there is an essence of solidifying some sort of dream or some sort of energy that maybe you were previously convinced wasn't real or you wasn't capable of kind of anchoring. There's this essence of anchoring something into this physical world where before you may have looked at it, you may have seen it, you may have dreamt about it, 
Um, some of you guys, there is like this essence of like a dream, like literally coming true, like a dream that you have while you're sleeping, like literally coming true after that. Um, so that may be something that you're experiencing through this time, but there is like this essence of anchoring something into this physical reality. Um, interesting. Let's pull some more cards, Virgo. There's almost like a balance, like you guys are striking a balance between the heart and head through Leo season. Um, or maybe even getting them on the same page instead of them fighting with each other. <laughs> Maybe kind of an uncomfortable season for Leo, or I'm sorry, for Virgo. Leo season may be kind of uncomfortable for you because it does feel quite emotional, and that's not exactly the most comfortable energy for a lot of Virgos. You know, that's not all of you, but um, we have exaltation with the moon in Taurus. And we have idealism with the sun in Aquarius. Yeah, so I really feel for Virgo that you guys are going to be looking at love in a new way. And there's almost this kind of physicality to this love that's coming in. That's like almost like public displays of affection coming in here for Virgo through this season. And um, like your perception on how you view love is changing through this season, which is very interesting. Um, you guys may have had this idea in your mind of what love is or what love's supposed to be um, that maybe always seemed kind of out of reach or, or um, unrealistic kind of energies. And I feel like that's kind of transforming in some way through this season for you guys. I do also see some, some self-love, some acts of self-love kind of physically happening here. Even here, she's kind of hugging herself, but also with this exaltation energy, this Taurus energy, there's definitely something here with like maybe buying yourself a new outfit or like some sort of self-care practices, like physical actions to care for yourself through this season being very significant for some of you guys um, and that may be something that you guys need to really focus on is like really caring for yourself and finding what love looks like when you do it for yourself so that you can see it outside of you but there is a shift in this perception of love for Virgo happening through Leo season um, and part of that may be um, you know Venus moving into Leo through this season and I also feel that uh, a part of this is Mercury moving into Virgo for you guys throughout this season as well, which is happening on August 4th. So a lot of you guys may be really communicating love in a new way or really recognizing like how to communicate love or how, how love, it's almost like learning what your love language is, Virgo. Interesting. <laughs> We have new beginnings. Some of you guys maybe are, you know, uh, embarking in a new relationship or into parenthood for some of you guys or into the next level or next phase of a relationship, like a new marriage or a new kind of step within a relationship. Some of you guys, this is like um, going after a creative project or going after something that you truly love and care about or something that you're very passionate about, whether it be work or just some sort of project or some sort of, um, some of you guys, it could be like starting some sort of like charity work or really working with public or like with humanity in some way, shape or form and really like expressing love in that manner by helping people whom are less fortunate or, um, you know, starting a new job that really 
helps other people who don't have maybe everything they need. Interesting. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull a chakra energy for Virgo for Leo season. Wow. Um, so we have seeing here, this is third eye energy, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. And with Neptune here, it's very interesting that we have clarity coming through, honestly, because I, I really feel like you guys are taking something that you used to look at as such an abstract concept, something like love in particular is what's coming through here, and gaining a lot of clarity surrounding that idea um, and, and maybe looking at it from a new perspective or through a new lens or from a new energy here for sure. Um, yeah, I really feel like for Virgo, maybe you guys used to look at love as something that it, it's almost like you used to look at it through a very logical point of view like love was more about you know the the physical relationship this physical reality and it's like this emotional side of it is coming in and bringing more clarity to you Virgo interesting so let's go ahead and pull some tarot here Yeah, I really just feel like there is this sense of clarity of what love actually is for you, maybe what your love language is, being able to see love, being able to choose love through Leo season instead of maybe explaining it away or, you know, getting caught up in the, <laughs> the details, Virgo. But let's see here. First of all, we're going to look at your spiritual energy through Leo season for my Virgo souls. We have the Page of Cups, which I can kind of see that here with this third eye energy coming out as well. There is like a refreshing, it's almost like refreshing your mind um, by, it's almost like by, by feeling new emotions. When we feel emotions, there's a chemical reaction created um, that like our brain responds to and it's almost like a new chemical reaction that is causing a, a new perspective, a new way of thinking um, happening here that is, and it's, it's almost like a third eye activation here as well, but also like this sense of, it's almost like a spiritual cleansing. That's, that's really what I'm feeling here, Virgo. Um, It may be activations of some spiritual gifts that maybe you never even realized were there, especially with Neptune here. There is a lot of spiritual energy here being activated, um, awakened within you that I feel like you've never taken the time to look at before um, because you guys have been very grounded, very in this physical 3D reality. And there's like a, a shifting in that here for Virgo throughout the season. Like you guys are becoming more spiritual throughout the season and a little less physical. For some of you, maybe for the first time. Let's take a look at your physical environment. Wow, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel through Leo season, you guys are going to be feeling very secure, um, very stable, very almost like independent. I do also feel for some of you guys that there's some sort of like animal coming through here with some sort of message or as a guide or as like a sign or synchronicity. But yeah, it's almost like you guys are feeling safe enough within your environment finally to open up spiritually or emotionally, or even both for some of you guys. 
but there is definitely like a physical stability here for Leo season. Let's take a look at your relationships for Virgo. Yeah, we have the nine of wands here and this is like, <laughs> for some of you maybe feeling very defensive um, or maybe finally letting your guard down within your relationships which would seem um, a little more in line with this reading. There is still like this essence of confusion surrounding your emotional body through this season, I feel, for Virgo, but it is, there is clarity coming. There is like a shifting, a cleansing of that. Some of you guys may even be going through like emotional purges or like having like rushes of emotions flood in throughout this season that maybe you don't know how to handle or you don't know how to deal with, but there is like this essence of finally letting your guard down and maybe even for some of you being willing to fight through the more uncomfortable aspects of a relationship. Um, let's take a look at your abundance here. Wow, we have the nine of cups. So we have three out of four nines here. Um, so it's almost like, um, Virgo, your emotional and physical self are directly connected through this season and I mean they always kind of are but it's like they're directly impacting each other like your emotional self is directly impacting like your physical stability your financial stability your job for some of you guys your home like your emotions are really a driving factor through this season and there's a need for you to know that like the happier you are the more in control of your emotions you are the more understanding of your emotions that you are the more fulfilled and the more safe um, and the more stable you're going to feel through this season so it is something that you guys do need to know um, but with new beginnings here I really feel for you guys that this is like a new you guys are turning a page in regards to the way you look at your emotions and to the relevance that you give them um, is changing wow so let's go ahead here Virgo and pull you one final message any last guidance advice or actions you should be taking through Leo season for my beautiful Virgo souls So we have start reclaiming who you truly are, Virgo. Yeah, and I feel like with this, this, this is what is happening for you guys as you allow your emotions in, as you allow your emotions to be a part of you, you are kind of reclaiming more of yourself. You're reclaiming more of your emotional body and more, more of like your spiritual self. And it's allowing you to open up to love. Um, instead of constantly being on this defensive or constantly feeling like you have to protect yourself or constantly living behind this wall or this barrier, um, there's like this essence of letting your guard down um, because you are beginning to feel more safe in regards to your emotions, like not looking at your emotions as a threat like uh, a lot of you guys have maybe done for a long period of time. Like that's really transitioning. And even though there may be times of emotional confusion or just confusion in general, um, there will be clarity through this season for a lot of you guys that's going to come on or around the full moon in Aquarius, um, which, which is on August 11th. Um, so that date may be very significant for you guys for different reasons for a lot of you guys, but we have three nines here, which leads me to believe that you were like at the end of a chapter. And like I said, getting ready to like turn a new page to turn over a new leaf here. Um, and to, to kind of take a, it's almost like taking a, a step up within yourself, your personal growth. There's like personal growth here for Virgo. 
Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Come back later. Let me know how your Leo season was. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!